It's not only possible for you to be picking up on someone's feelings when it is that they're thinking about you, but it's also vital to our existence. There are times though that this can be troubling, it can make your life difficult, and I'm going to explain how this works, why it happens, and what's happening with the energy, with the connection between you and the person thinking about you. My name's Aliki and I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. This all has to do with energy and with connection. When you and someone have connected with one another, when they think of you, their thoughts, their feelings are carried by their magnetic energy, by their frequency, by their vibration outwards. And it's not carried outwards in the here and now, but on the subatomic level, on the quantum field, where you and they have connected. And this comes forward from within you. You feel what it is they're feeling. You feel what it is they're thinking. And the thing is that because it's coming forward from within you, you feel it as if it's your own. And very often you have this sudden shift in the way that you're feeling and the way that you're, the mood that you're in. And it suddenly changes. And you don't become aware of why did it change? You just take it for granted that, okay, it changed. I'm suddenly feeling down. I'm suddenly feeling heavy. I'm suddenly not feeling so well. And this is because you picked up on their energy. When you and someone connect, this happens on a frequency, on a level that is beyond time and beyond space. So it is instantly picked up by you. The moment that they think of you, this sends a signal to you. And this exists because way before we had any other means of communication, we didn't have phones, we didn't have even letters didn't exist. Nothing existed beyond the way that we could communicate through energy. When you're far away from one another, how else is it that you could communicate? How is it that you could say that I'm in danger, I'm in need, I'm feeling down, something's happening? This signal exists for survival. This signal exists for us to be able to communicate through our energy. And once upon a time, we were widely aware of this because it was the only form of communication when we were far away and you couldn't speak, you couldn't call out to each other, and yet you needed to communicate. So you would feel this instantly, that the other person is in need. The other person is in danger. The other person is feeling down. Something's happening. And that is why this exists. It's wired within each and every one of us. And you feel it that very moment. There's no reason for you to feel it hours later, even moments later. It's instant so that you can instantly take action. This is the reason that you will receive this message, this signal, no matter what it is you're doing, whether you're asleep, whether you're focused on something else, whatever it is that you are presently engaged in, the signal will come through. And it's not that it will come through for absolutely everyone and anything, nor is it that it has to be for the special person for you, the person that you are truly and deeply connected with. It could come forward from family members, from acquaintances, from friends, from people who that very moment think of you. And the feeling is carried through. Because it's a feeling, it comes forward from the core. And this has the most amount of energy, the strongest frequency, the strongest vibration, and it's carried on these waves. It's carried through to you and you pick up on it. But maybe that very moment, because we have moved out of knowing that this is a form of communication, we depend on our phones, we depend on our computers, we depend on so many other forms of communicating with one another. So we don't consciously become aware of it. And you take it as being your own. Even though that very moment you will see the person there in front of you, even though you will feel them around you, you dismiss it and think that I just suddenly started thinking of him or I suddenly started wondering how she is. 
That's not the case. You are picking up on their thoughts, their feelings, and you feel it both within you and around you. When this happens momentarily or from time to time, it doesn't bother you because that moment you think of them, that moment you know how it is they're feeling. But when there's a constant flow, when they are constantly thinking of you, when they can't get you out of your, their mind and you are constantly being affected by their emotional state, by what it is they are experiencing, their feelings, especially when their feelings are heavy, when they're feeling down, when they're missing you, when they are feeling trapped, when they're thinking of you nonstop because there's a reason for them to have you on their mind. There's something they need to see, something they need to do, but you're constantly being affected by this. This can affect how it is you're feeling. It can make you feel that you're depressed, make you feel that you're out of who it is you want to be, who it is you know yourself to be. You may feel unmotivated to do things. You may feel stuck. You may be wondering, why do I keep thinking of them? And this is where the problem comes up, where it's constant. Depending on how it is they're feeling that very moment, it can make you even physically sick. It can make you feel heavy. It can make you feel unwell. You could feel a headache, a stomach ache, or just this general, like a seasick nausea. This is because you're being overwhelmed by their energy and it's clashing with where it is you are at, with how it is you are feeling. And this muddled energy is what makes you feel seasick because it's literally a storm within you, a storm that's affecting you on many different levels. The way to release yourself from this is to move yourself to a different place energetically, to higher plane, and to do this from within. Focus your energy in your heart and in your core and stand on ground that you feel truly powerful in. When you're in the energy of your heart and your core, then you're not in the energy of your mind and you are less affected by other people's thoughts, by the external world. You are in your own power, in your own environment and where you are truly safe and at a higher frequency. So you will not be as affected. You may pick up on what it is they're thinking. You may pick up on what it is they're feeling, but it will not overwhelm you because you will be able to see it and release it. Once you've moved to a higher plane, once you've released the energy, run water on your hands, let it wash away and imagine that the energy is running away, is falling away in the running water running away. It's washing away in the running water and release it. Let it go. Go outside, take a walk, put yourself in motion, get up off the couch, get up off the chair and move, move your body. Don't allow it to overwhelm you and to say, oh, I'm stuck feeling their feelings. I'm stuck feeling their energy. You are never stuck. It's coming forward as information. You can easily move out of this, move forward. It's also helpful for you to become aware of who this is coming from and why it is happening. In what way have you connected with them? Because if they are simply thinking of you, but your energy isn't in any way focused on them, you won't receive it. You'll be on a different plane you're picking up on their thoughts and their feelings because you are energetically connected and focused also on them. See why this is happening, what this means for you. And the more aware you become of the people that you've connected with and how it's affecting you, what kind of feelings they are having and what it is you're experiencing in your day because of this, you'll be able to notice it and choose to connect more with people who aren't toxic, who aren't feeling constant heavy feelings for you, and that are more high vibrational, more in the feelings of love, acceptance, happiness. And yes, we're not always in the feelings of happiness. We're not always in the feelings of love. But when this keeps happening and keeps bringing you down, notice this. 
and see how it is that you can release this, release these type of people from your life. If you've connected with someone that's having a very heavy effect on your energy, on the way that you're thinking, on the way that you're feeling, become aware of it and see why is it that I've connected with them? What is it that you are seeing? What is it that they're teaching you? What's being revealed by this connection? It's not just a matter of you saying, oh, they're toxic, they're making me feel heavy, I'm just gonna move out of it. You'll move out of it once you understand it, once you learn from the connection. If you just cut ties with someone who's toxic with a connection without learning what it is you need to see from it, then another person with the same toxic characteristics will come into your life and it will continue to repeat until you actually learn from it, until you actually see it and understand it. That's when it will stop repeating. It's not just a matter of choosing to have only healthy relationships. The healthy relationships, the high, happy people, the people that you truly are happy being around will come into your life once you release the old by understanding it. I wish you happiness. I wish you love. Thank you so much for being here. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe.